Hey guys, and welcome back to Blake Unboxes, where tonight I'm going to be unboxing the Owen Escape Pack from Mattel's new Jurassic World Dominion line. So we have the Owen Escape Pack here, and my reflection, of course. Hello. Uh, and a ghost, apparently. Um, let's see the box. So we have Rexy, we have the Jurassic World Dominion logo, we have the Owen Escape Pack in various languages, we have the warning, Choking Hazard, we have the 4 plus barcode Mattel symbol, and the Atrociraptors, as well as the Carnotaurus, and, uh, oh, and it appears. Now, Atrociraptor, does that, is that like atrocious? Is that a play on that word? We have the Pyroraptor here on the side, which I am loving the look of that thing. Uh, we have here all the creatures in the back, and this is hilarious. Utility tool included, because a uh, 2PC knife is a, apparently a bad word these days. Um, so, uh, and now we turn to the other side. We have the Dominion logo, the T-Rex and Amber. Love it. And uh, come back to the old Universal and Amblin logos. Makes it official. So, let's get this thing open. Now, uh, this one's not so easy. Uh, they, you're going to have to tear it apart, unfortunately. Um, unless you have a, a nice knife, but I'm too eager. So, let's get this thing. Uh, just, uh, there we go. And comes out nicely and oh well this is interesting so I didn't notice this but if you see behind the figures we have it looks to be a setting of a beach with a bunch of uh, I guess footprints or dust debris um, so I guess uh, the sequence is going to be at a beach. Now we have the toys here. Uh, the only one that you're going to have to require perhaps scissors is the Owen uh, figure with the motorcycle. It has a band that wraps around it. So you just, just nip that and we've got Owen on his motorcycle. This is too cool. The detail is pretty impressive. So we're going to ride him away real quick. See how easy this comes out. Atrociraptor, Atrociraptor. The Atrociraptor. I love the sculpt, this head. It, it just looks like a meaner Velociraptor. The, oh man, I cannot wait to, to showcase this thing. Already though, impressive. And the other one, the real beaut. I think this, this figure might be the showstopper. The show stealer, as it will. I just love the sort of, I wouldn't even call it a tiger. It sort of looks like, um, What's that skin condition that people get sometimes where they're the, they have the white blotchy skin? Uh, I believe Michael Jackson had that before he began to bleach it. it has a similar look like that. And then of course we have the uh, Carnotaur with the, let's see here. I think this has, yep, sure is enough. Uh, the horn, just like in the uh, teaser trailer is missing. Um, kind of wish I wouldn't have seen that. Uh, that's a silly look. Uh, hello. All right, so we have all the figures standing. Let's get these out of the way and let's get a better look at Owen here. Now, Owen comes with a motorcycle helmet as well as his utility tool. Um, and as you can see, he's got his, uh, looks like a v-neck button shirt he's got jeans he's got his belt he's looking very all-american male uh very sexy he's got his uh, arms which uh you can bend and his legs as well and apparently uh it looks like we've got the universal amblin logos on the back as well as mattel i guess he's a um, like they're a sports team he's a fan of all those um also there's a spot in the back for his uh utility tool uh, to slide right into all right so uh, and this helmet let's just get this on him real quick and uh oh that's geez louise this thing is tight okay well we got it on it fits very snug and uh yeah he um shouldn't have any trouble if falling off his motorcycle now look at the motorcycle oh wow i'm pretty impressed with this um i love the uh sort of metallic sheen that it has with the, the red that goes across it. Pretty realistic. Um, on the back, we, the, the engine's painted, the wheels spin, both wheels. 
and um, it's even got a little kickstand here uh, that you can move around. Let's see how easily this thing stands. Let's turn it here. Oh, perfect. Neat. All right, let's move that and get that out of the way. And on to everybody's favorite thing, dinosaurs. Now look at this beauty. So glad that they went with a green paint for the eyeball here. On the back of the box, it's a yellow, and we're just seeing that repeated too much in this toy line. I love the inside of the mouth. We've got a shiny tongue. Um, it looks like there are multiple uses of paint here. The teeth are a different color than both the eye, the tongue, and the under uh, side of the uh, skull there. We have its little arms, which are just adorable. Oh, and its head turned sideways, which that's that's awesome. Really digging that for posability. Cool beans. Oh, looky there. No. And the, the legs are very similar to the rest of the figures. Oh, interesting. It's tail turns. That is um, kind of useless, but I guess neat. Don't really see the point of that. Now let's check out the Atrociraptor. Uh... I love the pose that this thing's doing, like it's ready to pounce or it's in mid-run and it's uh, gonna viciously attack Owen off of his motorcycle and tear him to shreds, even though we're not gonna see that because he's technically our lead, I guess. All right, and this tail also does this sort of movement. Love the front of these figures. Sometimes the dinosaurs look pretty silly when you look at them um, head on, but not these guys. Um, just great paint job. They, they look very ferocious. And the neck moves all kinds of which ways. And the main baby. Love the... Yeah, I just love the color on this one. And this has the, the kind of classic raptor stance that you would expect from a more traditional Jurassic Park raptor line. I just... The detail in this is fantastic. And yeah, these definitely look like different sculpts than the ones that we get with like blue. And its neck, uh, or the, uh, the above its head, looks very um, wrinkly. Yeah, this thing just looks tough, like a brawler. And of course, the nails are um, not painted, but uh, that's an easy fix with a Sharpie marker. And the underside is painted very nicely. The tail has a little bit of a different shade of orange than that runs throughout the rest of the body. It's lighter. Here we've got the barcodes for those interested. That's for the one Atrociraptor. For the second, Mr. Mustard. Even though, no, it's, not, well, it's kind of a mustard coat, but... Not a bright mustard, but like that organic mustard that you get from a Trader Joe's or something. Even though, look for the labels, kids. They're not always organic. All right. We've got some action set pieces. And here's him compared to Mr. Roland and the engine vehicle from the Isla Sorna set. And here's the cat of death. Well, those are the figures, guys. And if you'd like this video and you want to see more, please subscribe to Blake Unboxes for more of me unboxing boxes.